Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Room Duels, and today doing some Evil Hero Test Hands. I'm really excited for you guys, because this was actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Awalt. And this deck is a crazy awesome deck, because I'm one of the coolest fusion monsters in the entire game, which is our Evil Hero Malicious Bane. I absolutely love this card. So, without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can comment part notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards, like getting your name, description, your single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting your request a deck profile every single bunch of a patron along with test hands and definitely give a walt some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such an awesome deck so let's get straight on into it so this deck is a crazy powerful deck that makes use of all the different hero cards from vision heroes destiny heroes and even he evil heroes but basically uses the evil heroes the most to go into cards like malicious bane and even into cards like dark gaia which is an insanely powerful fusion monster that combos very well with nibiru which is a great tech card for this deck i have all sorts of crazy text for this deck and you guys know we got a pile shuffle to make sure that we don't brick and definitely definitely if you guys would like to check out the deck profile it is down in the description down below it's an insane deck profile i really love this deck and it is a crazy crazy powerful deck you can even summon out two malicious banes in a game if your opponent gets rid of the first one which is just absolutely crazy that this deck can even do that so now that we've got the deck pile shuffle let's go ahead and give the deck a quick shuffle and see what we can do for our first test hand because this deck can do some crazy plays and you have all sorts of different starters from vision hero vion to your copies of vision hero ferris even elemental hero stratos is a great starter in this deck so we're going to go ahead and shuffle up the deck and see what we can do so let's go ahead and draw and see what we can get we're going to draw into a copy of destiny hero malicious destiny fusion a copy of vision hero ferris vision hero vion and a copy of nibiru so we already have a really good normal summon we have the nibiru in our hand which if we were going second we would go ahead and nibiru the opponent to give us the nibiru on our side of the field so we can go into dark gaia a little bit easier so let's go ahead and see what we can do for these test hands so we're going to go ahead and activate the effect of ferris and discard the copy of our malicious to the graveyard because once we get that malicious out of our hand we can then start going into some really good plays summon out that copy of the ferris to our side of the field and it will put in the back road a copy of increase which is really good to be able to put that copy of increase in the back row we're just going to move this card right here that is really helpful because then at this point you can actually attribute the copy of the ferris to put it in the graveyard to be able to summon out the copy of increase from the back row then it has the ability to special summon from the deck a copy copy of Vision Hero Vion, which is very good to be able to use and just get that monster out on your side of the field. Now the effect of Vision Hero Vion is that you get to Foolish Burial to the graveyard any hero monster that you want from your deck, which is usually going to be our copy of Shadow Mist or our copy of Malicious. But since we already have Malicious in the graveyard, let's go ahead and put a Shadow Mist in the graveyard so we can get an additional search because we need a normal summon. Let's go ahead and search out our Elemental Hero Stratos, which then we will normal summon to our side of the field which is going to help us out a lot to be able to get an additional search of any hero monster that we absolutely need, which I usually search out the copy of a dusted gold because a dusted gold is going to get us all those different plays because you can actually discard the dusted gold from your hand to be able to search the deck for a copy of dark calling. You can actually search more than just dark calling with the dusted gold. Everybody just searches that card, but you can actually have a couple of different targets in the deck for that card, like your copies of your dark calling dark fusion and even some supreme king's castle is searchable off your copy of a dusted gold which is super helpful for this deck to be able to use that card to be able to fusion summon into our dark hero monsters or evil hero monsters using other cards than just dark calling and dark fusion i really like that effect so now that we've normal summoned to our side of the field the stratos the stratos got us the copy of our evil hero uh a dusted gold let's go ahead and banish from the graveyard our copy of malicious and be able to search the deck for a copy of malicious and put it on our side of the field just to give us another monster to be able to link climb with and go into some really good plays you can then also banish from the graveyard your copy of shadow mist to be able to get you an additional search of a polymerization which is going to help us out quite a lot in this deck for all sorts of different fusion plays so let's go ahead and grab that copy of polymerization you got to use that artwork it is just so cool to be able to play that artwork in this deck so now that we've used that card we have a backup play if at any point our opponent nibiru's us with a copy of fusion destiny and we have dark calling to be able to back up the plays as well so we have plenty of outs if our opponent does anything to us 
us. So let's go ahead and Link Summon using these two monsters to be able to summon out from our extra deck a copy of Cross Crusader. Cross Crusader is a great card to be able to summon because you can actually use its effect to put the copy of your Malicious back on the field and then tribute the Malicious to be able to search any hero monster from the deck, which is pretty good because you do need your hero monsters in your hand. So you can kind of pick and choose whichever one you want at this point. It's totally up to you. You can pick out a copy of Denier. You can pick out other cards that you might need or you can pick out a copy of, say, an Adusted Gold to be able to go in for additional plays later on in the game, which is a totally good uh, choice to be able to search from the deck. Usually, you'll grab something like a, a copy of Honest Neos is really good to be able to give you a hand trap so that you can go by 2500 to OTK the opponent, depending on if you're going first or second. You can grab Elemental Hero Stratos to give you additional plays on the following turn. Ferris, so you can get additional plays on the following turn as well. A Dusted Gold so you can get even more plays because we do play multiple copies of Dark Calling. You can get Denier so you can recover back your Maliciouses. Depending on what you want, this deck has you covered pretty much in whatever you need. I'm going to go ahead and search in a Dusted Gold because it's going to give me more plays. Or actually, let's go a little bit different and let's actually grab Elemental Hero. Where is it? Elemental Hero liquid soldier let's grab that card because then we can make a really powerful fusion monster so let's go ahead and shuffle up the deck and see what else we can actually do so we're going to shuffle up the deck and then at this point you can go into some really interesting plays where we're actually going to use the polymerization at this point to go ahead and fusion summon into a copy of elemental hero sunriser sunriser is really good because you're going to use the copy of an elemental hero liquid soldier in the hand and the copy of the vion in your hand as well because you don't super need that copy of Vion. And at this point, the copy of the Sunriser will go off. You can activate the copy of Liquid Soldier, but you don't have to activate the copy of Liquid Soldier's effect at this point. Um, basically, what we're doing is, is we're searching the deck for a copy of Miracle Fusion because of the summon of our copy of Sunriser, which is super helpful for our plays to be able to go into additional cards. So let's go ahead and grab that copy of Miracle Fusion so we can get into some really, really good plays and go into a copy of our uh, Absolute Zero, which is a great card to be able to go into in this deck. We still have three more fusion summons in our hand with all the different cards that we have to be able to go into some really insane plays. But let's go ahead and link summon using these two cards on our field to go into a copy of this card. Now, this is where the evil heroes start to come in is the copy of Extra Hero Infernal Divisor. So this card has a really neat effect that if this card is link summon, you can reveal any hero monster in your extra deck. And if you do, add two fusion materials listed on that card with different names from your deck to your hand. But you can't special monsters turn you activate this effect except except for hero monsters, which all we're summoning is heroes anyways. So we're going to go ahead and summon that card up there, and we're going to use its effect to be able to reveal in the extra deck our really awesome evil hero in evil or evil hero inferno wing which actually specifically list elemental hero bersinatrix and elemental hero avian which is super helpful to be able to just search both of those cards directly from the deck to our hand to get them out of the deck so we don't draw into them and so later on we can actually go into our copy of infernal wing into a really powerful play so let's go ahead and shuffle up the deck and see what else we can do because we need to start cleaning up the board just a little bit so at this point you can go ahead and use the copy of the miracle fusion and when you you use that copy of Miracle Fusion, we're going to go ahead and fusion summon using the Vion and the copy of the uh, Liquid Soldier. And Liquid Soldier is going to get us an additional ability where we get to draw two and discard a card. So at this point, we're going to summon out a copy of Absolute Zero because that card is a absolutely boss monster that destroys all monsters your opponent controls if this card leaves the field, which is pretty powerful. And then at this point, you can go ahead and draw two and discard a card, which is perfect what we actually drew so we're going to go ahead and discard the copy of the nibiru because of the liquid soldier's effect that when this card is sent for or if this card is used for a fusion material of a hero monster and sent to the graveyard or banished you can draw two cards and discard a card which i'm going to discard the copy of nibiru because at this point i'm not going to want to board wipe so at this point we can do some really good plays let's go ahead and use the dark fusion to be able to fusion summon into a copy 
of our evil hero Inferno Wing. So we're getting into that card at this point. Go ahead and link summon using both of these on your side of the field to summon out the copy of Dread Decimator. And then we're gonna start basically going to our final fusion plays. Go into your copy of Dark Calling. You can actually go into multiple fusions in the graveyard using Dark Calling, but we're gonna go ahead and banish the copy of a Dusted Gold. And you have two different ones that you can actually go for at this point. You can either go for a copy of your Dark Gaia using both of these cards which is really cool that you can go for Dark Gaia, or you can banish another evil hero plus a level six or higher monster, which is our Ferris, or level five or higher, to go into your copy of Bane. I usually like to go for Bane because I can go into a copy of Dark Gaia later on if I need it. So I'm gonna leave this card in the graveyard, get rid of that copy of Ferris, and then once we get rid of that copy of Ferris, we're going to go ahead and summon out our copy of Bane, which is just super helpful to be able to go into. It kind of depends on where you want to summon it to. I'm just going to summon it way down here. And then at this point, you can use your copy of Fusion Destiny to get our last and fifth fusion monster on the field that has the ability to fusion summon a fusion monster from your extra deck by sending materials from your hand or deck as fusion materials but destroy it during the end phase to summon a destiny hero monster so we're going to activate this card send the copy of plasma from our hand to the graveyard and send our copy of denier from our deck to the graveyard as well and once you do shuffle up the deck and summon out your final fusion monster which is going to be our copy of destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, giving us five fusion monsters on the field. This is an absolutely nuts board. This is just absolutely crazy. Getting five different hero fusion monsters on the field, two of which being evil heroes, one destiny hero, and two elemental heroes is just crazy to me to be able to go into all these different plays. I love this deck so much. I cannot emphasize that enough because at this point, if you do draw into a copy of Dark Calling, like for example, let me show you guys what you can do. Let's just say your opponent board wipes you, which is what's really cool. You can actually use Dark Calling still in this deck because that's just a super good card. And just say that your opponent does board wipe you, you can actually use the copy of Dark Calling to go either for your copy of your evil hero, Malicious Fiend, or your copy of Dark Gaia, either of these two cards, by using one of your level six or higher fiend monsters, plus a Malicious Edge, if you can get the Malicious Edge in the graveyard, which is pretty easy, or you can go for the Dark Gaia if you wanna use the Nibiru plus any evil hero monster in the graveyard, which if you use your copy of Malicious Bane, it'll actually go up by 3,000, and then if you use your copy of Nibiru, it'll go up by an additional 3,000, summoning this card as a 6,000 attack point monster, which is really, really cool if you do draw into the copy of your Dark Calling, which is pretty good. So that's about pretty much the best hand you can actually get in this deck and all we had was one extender in the entire deck that made this entire field possible from the very beginning when we had fusion destiny we had the copy of phoenix enforcer we always had the copy of our um, malicious bane because we basically had the plays to do it with our copy of a dusted gold and summoning out the stratos and vion plays which is really cool once we got to that copy of liquid soldier we already had the copy of absolute zero which is really nice but you always have the copy of absolute zero if you can summon out the copy of sun riser and have a copy of liquid soldier and then top decking out that copy of dark fusion just gave us access to that really awesome infernal wing you don't summon this every single time but it's really cool when you do actually summon it so let's go ahead into another test hand because as you guys can see this deck works it's really amazing i love this deck so much it's so fun to play around with because you can do all sorts of different plays and if you draw into a copy of Mass Change, you can actually tag out some of your heroes as disruptions, like your copy of your Absolute Zero can tag out to Mass Hero Acid, which will actually hit all of their monsters and all of their back row and board wipe their entire field, which is really cool. And we even had the Denier in the hand to be able to go in for additional plays, to special summon it to our side of the field, and then bring back the copy of Malicious, which is pretty good if we did need to put that back, or even put back the copy of our um plasma to go get that card on our field as well so you have a lot of different plays in this deck which is what's really neat so let's go ahead and shuffle up the deck and see what we can do and i will say to you guys as you're playing this deck basically if you open up a copy of vion a copy of a hero lives ferris or your copy of elemental hero stratos you pretty much have your plays because you just need one of them to really get those plays rolling. You can even use your copy of Reinforcements of the Army, which is another searcher for the deck that we're actually playing and somewhere in this deck. 
but reinforcements of the army is going to get us all sorts of different plays in the deck as well because it's going to get us into either Vion or Stratos. I love getting it with the copy of A Hero Lives and opening up either the Ferris or the Stratos in the hand because then I know I can use this to special out Vion, but getting both of these monsters is ideal because you can just summon out the copy of Ferris and then summon out the Stratos and get a double search and a foolish burial off of all of this. So these cards are essential starters for the deck and the big, big plays of the build, which is super important for the deck. You need to get to one of those cards in your opening hand. So let's go ahead and see what we can do for the next one because we have all sorts of crazy plays. At the very least, you're going to summon out something like a Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer with your copy of Fusion Destiny at the very least, or you can even use your copies of your um, regular polymerization to go into that absolute zero sunriser combo. So we're going to draw to a copy of Plasma, which is not terrible. A copy of Ferris, Mass Change this time, a copy of Avian, and a copy of Stratos. So this is already a really good hand, and we can go into some really, really good plays. So let's go ahead and use the copy of Ferris to special summon it to our side of the field by discarding the copy of Avian, because we don't really need the copy of Avian in our hand. So we're going to use that card to be able to put an increase back on the field and do pretty much exactly what we did before, where we're going to tribute this card, summon out the copy of the increase to our side of the field, then summon out a copy of Vion from the deck off the copy of the increase and then the copy of Vion will send from our deck to the graveyard any card that we need like a copy of our let's say let's see let's let's send a copy of Shadow Mist again to get us an additional search and then once we send that, we can actually search the deck for a copy of a Dusted Gold, which is going to be pretty good because then we can discard the Dusted Gold to the graveyard to be able to summon from the deck a copy or actually add from the deck to the hand a copy of Dark Calling, which is going to be super helpful to get us that copy of Dark Calling. You can then normal summon out the copy of Stratos, which is pretty good just to be able to normal summon that Stratos to your side of the field. This hand is not going to be quite as crazy as what we did before, but you're still going to have some pretty good plays in this lineup. So at this point, you're going to normal summon the Stratos and get you an additional search of any card that you pretty much need to be able to go in for more plays, like a copy of Liquid Soldier, if you want to grab that card from the deck. So you can use the poly um super or the copy of polymerization and use the copy of the draw to discard one to see if we can draw exactly what we need so at this point you can go ahead and use the copy of vion banish from the graveyard the shadow mist i usually always banish the shadow mist off this card but at this point, you have the copy of Liquid Soldier, so you can go ahead and grab that Poly to be able to fusion summon into another fusion monster, which is super helpful to be able to do, to be able to just go in for an additional fusion play with your copy of your uh, Sunriser, to be able to grab Miracle Fusion and then just grab all those different plays up that you're going to be trying to do. So, now that we've gotten that play rolling, let's go ahead and use the copy of Polymerization to be able to fusion summon into another monster. So at this point, I'm going to use the copy of increase and I'm going to use the copy of my via or the copy of liquid soldier in my hand to be able to go into my copy of sunriser and then sunriser's effect will go off and search from the deck a copy of miracle fusion which is super helpful to be able to search that copy of miracle fusion the way I do this uh, the reason I do it this way is because I don't want to draw into the copy of miracle fusion but I know I'm going to fusion summon again with the copy of the liquid soldier I'm not super worried about getting its effect off immediately when it's sent to the graveyard I can just get it when it's banished and it gives me more plays which helps out a lot more in the long run of things because then you're going to be able to get those plays really, really rolling. So now at this point, let's see what we can actually get when we use the Liquid Soldier. So we're going to go ahead and activate the copy of Miracle Fusion, banish from the graveyard these two monsters, their uh, water monster and any hero monster that we're going to banish from the graveyard to be able to summon out from the extra deck a copy of Absolute Zero. We're just going to summon it down here in the position four where it's like this. And then once we summon it down here, we're going to get to draw two cards and discard a card, which is an increase and a fusion destiny. We're going to go ahead and discard that copy of increase because we really don't need it. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and link summon. Um, well, you really don't need to link summon. Let's see. You really don't need to. So let's go ahead and do this a little bit differently. Let's go ahead and use the effect of mass change. Let's go ahead and use that mass change to tag this out into a copy of Dark Law because we don't have a Destiny Hero in the graveyard for the effect of our Cross Crusader with this lineup because you need a Destiny Hero to bring back. So we can do it later on anyways. And then we can use the effect of the Dark Calling or the effect of our Fusion Destiny 
to go into another fusion monster. You can use both and then put one in the extra monster zone, which is totally fine. But let's go ahead and use the Dark Calling right here to be able to go in for another fusion play because we're going to use that Dark Calling and we're going to put on our side of the field that copy of Malicious Bane, which is going to be super helpful to put that card on the field. And you can put it anywhere you want. I would suggest putting it up here because you're going to be able to revive back your Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer right here over and over again. And then we're going to use the copy of Fusion Destiny to send from our deck to the grave yard the copy of denier and a copy of malicious which is going to be super helpful because now we're lined up later on for that copy of malicious you could even link summon if you wanted to um you could link summon later on and use the stratos and use the copy of the absolute zero if you wanted to you could even leave on the field the copy of the vion if you wanted to save the dark law and set this card down here to be able to tag it out for a copy of acid that is another option for you guys if you guys want to go that route. But basically the reason I'm doing it this way is because I'm getting multiple interruptions with this lineup. You can basically interrupt your opponent like a bunch of times because you have the effect of the Dark Law that if they search, you have a pop down here. If they get rid of this, then they have to destroy all the monsters on their side of the field. The Sunriser is just really hard to deal with and it's just a really good field. I really like this field because you get all sorts of different plays and this is with a little bit more of an awkward hand opening up one of the vanilla monsters, but top decking into that copy of Fusion Destiny is just really, really, really nice. And then using the copies of our searches to be able to grab out the necessary pieces to go into our absolute zero is just super nice and this is pretty much what the deck does every single hand which is what's really crazy about this deck i love how easy it is to be able to fusion something because if we draw into the next turn we're going to draw into a copy of nibiru we can't really do anything with the nibiru but we have all sorts of different plays with all these other cards and we can then use the copy of mass change if we draw into that card later in the game if they still haven't dealt with this card you can tag it out and when you tag out the copy of the absolute zero you can actually bring out the mass hero acid which both of these will go off simultaneously chained to one another all spells and traps and all monsters on your opponent's field are destroyed and then you go in for game with all these cards that's if you didn't already get them with this field that you have set up which is just really insane like this field is literally insane because you have a dark law or a copy of a malicious bane that can't be dealt with pretty much by battle you have the copy of your dark law that makes it so that every time they search they're getting something um ripped out of the hand you're using the copy of Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer to pop something to be able to just get rid of cards on their side of the field. And then now you've used the copy of Acid and Absolute Zero to board wipe them, which is really, really crazy. So you have all of these really awesome plays. So I think that pretty much shows how the deck works for you guys because it's very, very simple. Again, all you really need is one of those starters in the hand. And then also if your opponent did board wipe, you have the copy of Malicious that you can just roll through your plays again. Because if they did, I'm going to show you guys really quickly what happens if your opponent does board wipe you. Watch this. So if your opponent does end up board wiping you with this particular lineup, I know we've drawn two cards but let's say we draw into another card and they board wiped us we're going to draw into a copy of nibiru that's not really helpful all that much but you can bring out the copy of your um malicious from the graveyard and once you bring out that copy of malicious from the graveyard by banishing this one you can basically special summon another one from your uh deck and then you can use the effect of the copy of your denier that you sent to the graveyard earlier it's once per dual effect to be able to put this card back on top of the deck and then you can link these two cards away together to be able to summon the Cross Crusader now, use its effect, be able to special summon this back, tribute this card on your side of the field, and then search any hero that you want, which I'm going to go ahead and search out a copy of, say, a Dusted Gold, because a Dusted Gold is going to get me into another copy of my, um, another copy of Malicious Bane. So we're going to shuffle up the deck now. And then at this point, you can go ahead and banish the copy of the Malicious in the graveyard to special summon out another copy of Malicious because we just rolled the Malicious all over again. Link these two together for a Dread Decimator right here. And then summon out the copy of Dread Decimator up here. And keep in mind, this is after going full combo. Discard the copy of a Dusted Gold. Search out the copy of Dark Calling. Use the Dark Calling. Banish the copy of the Dusted Gold. And you can banish Malicious if you want. Or any of the hero monsters that have already been taken out with this effect. You can even banish a Dusted Gold and the copy of the Nibiru. If you want to banish the Nibiru. And be able to summon out from the extra deck your copy of Dark Gaia at this point. So you have the Dark Gaia that's sitting at 51 
one, which is really good to be able to just throw this 5100 attack point monster, plus the effect of Dread Decimators boosting it up because the cards that this card points to, along with this card, gain 100 attack for every hero monster with a different name in your graveyard. So you basically have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, 13 different heroes in the graveyard with different names. I think it's 14 technically, yeah. No, because you only have one increase. So it's 14 different heroes you have in the graveyard. So this card is going up by an additional 14 on top of the 51. So this card is sitting about 6,500 at this point to be able to attack with this card and just go in for game, which is just crazy good. So I think that's going to do it for the test hands for this deck, guys. I think I showed you guys that this deck works. I really love this deck. If you guys would like to check out the deck profile for evil heroes, definitely check it out down in the description description down below. It's an insanely powerful deck. It's super fun to play. It goes into those insane fields every single game. Um, you rarely, rarely, rarely brick in this deck because you always have a starter usually. It is over 40 cards. It's around, I think, 44 is what I finally settled on, which I don't really mind with this deck to have 44 because you have all those different extenders in the deck that you need to play in this deck, but you don't want to draw into cards like your Avian and Percentatrix because you don't want to just have those cards floating around in your hand you want to be able to search them with your infernal gainer which is really important um which is just or infernal divisor excuse me which is just an insanely powerful card so i think that's going to do it for this one guys don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell on there so you can come part of notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys